Namaste. This is the Bread Pilled Witch. And um, in this video, I'm going to give a little introduction to my spiritual bread pill journey as well as uh, providing you an intro for my channel. The Bread Pilled Witch. Let's do this. In the name of the goddess, the the daughter, the mother, and the holy blue god, I shall declare this video sacred. And that is my three soul, the over, the animal, and the ego to be aligned. And to praise this nomia. Alright. Um, ah, if you don't know, or probably a lot of you have known, I came from the channel of Vegan Anarchist. And I'm going to leave you intro how I became the vegan anarchist. Because by now I have a thousand, over a thousand subscribers and all, you know, yada, yada, yada. I'm going to leave the link for the logo to check out my other channel. Peace. Anyways. So, um. I've been pretty, um. Been started when I was, say, 12 years old. Weirdly enough, the same time I started writing music composing and and a part of me got fascinated I don't know why with like psychic phenomena with auras and stuff like that so I started reading books on auras and then, and then a few years afterwards I stopped because well I got into science and started doubting it and then I became a Christian for like a year or a few months and and it was I when mean, I was at Mathnesium, <laughs> I was a Christian, but I never went to church. I never actually read the Bible as a Christian when I was a Christian, which is hilarious. But I thought I knew everything, you know, and I wanted to go raw food, and yeah, it's a bunch of weird stuff. But, well, I, but then when Mathnesium split up, the instructors who were indoctrinating to Christianity moved to the McAllen once and I was in mission. And so I wasn't as exposed to the Christian stuff. So I started slowly drifting a little bit into the new agey stuff. So like I started watching spirit signs and learning sacred geometry, uh, you know, new age things. And, oh man, I still can't believe I even trusted spirit science, but that was me. I didn't know better. At one time, I was a Republican, actually. I was a pretty hardcore conservative. Yeah. And not so, you know, I've gone a long ways. Anyways. So, I started this band in high school, which... By the way, failed completely after the first, during the first week because nobody knew how to play the instruments and everybody sucked except for this guy Toast, who introduced me to Wicca and the Theban alphabet. And then, uh, and then of course, I thought about it, but then I put it put in a back burner. And then finally I decided after a month, hey, I'm going to become a Wiccan. So I became a Wiccan after this failed event. Sorry, my cat wants to come in. There's a failed band that sucks. Bad, hardcore. Say hi to the camera, Garfield. What's this? Oh, access. Okay. Hello? Okay. Sorry for the interruption, my cat, you know. So, at the first holiday I, or Sabbath I celebrated was Ostara. And Ostara, if you don't know, was the spring equinox. And I started going around school telling people about the solstices and the equinoxes. And of course, I hated Christians. And then, of course, for a few years, I was pretty pagan. 
But then over time I start to doubt more and more and more and more and more because I've been around a lot of uh, atheists and then I've watched like TJ Kirk and a bunch of atheist channels back when the skeptics was actually skeptical. Uh, so after a few years I became I discovered LSR and became an anarchist. But by then, I, I started to doubt my paganism even more. And being around anarchists, the anarchist community has historically and, and still is predominantly atheist. And by adapting, in my opinion, by adopting atheism and naturalism, they throwing out the baby with the bathwater test this channel. But anyways, so after being around atheists and then got I slowly started becoming very new atheist -ish, ish because I wasn't like fucking Sam Harris and his toxic fuck. But I did shit like went up to a fucking girl with a crystal in my college and be like, you know crystals would have magical powers! And I cringingly read Rational Wiki and fucking it was bad. I wanted to burn out fucking every church I saw. I, I was, oh man. I carried up over a lot of the anti Christianity when I became an atheist. A naturalist, anti theistic atheist, as well as Bobby, who also goes by Aspie Media, who was my best friend. But you know, John Eater, of course. And so after the few years, I just, I don't know why. I just couldn't hold on. I, to, I just kept, couldn't stop believing in magic. I couldn't internalize the naturalistic viewpoint. And as the atheist community grew more and more toxic, I just get fucking had it with rational skepticism. And combined with learning about postmodernism and surrealism, I finally decided, and as well as taking a, well, being in a philosophy classroom, learning about philosophy and religion, I finally decided, you know what, maybe naturalism isn't 100% correct. So slowly I started creeping through, and the way I entered atheism was through supernatural atheism, and then I went became a naturalist, and then now I became a supernatural. Because I started believing in spirits, but not God or goddesses or anything like that. And, but of course, I also learned existentialism, postmodernism. But I try to keep it, you know, very low key, try to pretend I didn't believe, try to force myself to not be that. Because law is illogical. Because. <sighs> And not only that, but I, I was also getting really depressed, having existential crisis. I was like a fucking straw nihilist. And so, so I, of course, atheism does not lead to like nihilism or straw nihilism or any shit like that. It just was for me, but there's a lot of atheists who weren't that, okay? Just be clear. So, and in mental hospital, I, I, I came in there interested in becoming pagan again, being spiritual. And I met this rap guy who wants to be a rapper who's a Christian. And he inspired me, like, you know what? Fuck it. I might as well embrace my goddess leanings. Because at the time I wanted to be I wanted to go back into like goddess worship and I was interested in or goddess be with one well, with the goddess, the mother of everything. So a few weeks, I eventually started this channel, of course. And at first I called the Spiritual Anarchist, and I changed the name, and now I sell a bread pilled witch. And I started looking up things like, because I was already interested in goddess theology, or theal theology, as I prefer to call it. And I started looking into, pro re or we looking into process philosophy, which I hadn't been to since I became a, since be, since I became an atheist. Before then, I was a panentheist and a pro and was interested in process theology. The goddess theology, 
which is the feminine version of theology. Um, animism, paganism, transcendentalism, even queer theology from the Christian tradition. And I, and I became... And also dysnomianism also, which I'm going to talk about. And so uh, this is who I am right now, being re-inspired. The Spirit have woken me up to, and I have rediscovered the Goddess. And this is one representation of her, or in my mind she is. And I picked, got her my birthday at uh, fucking Mexico, December 26th. Because she looked just like that statue, or kind of like that statue of the Goddess. So what is this channel about? This channel is basically if you're an anarchist or a leftist, if you're queer, if you're a woman or a femme, or trans feminine or feminine of a feminine gender, cis or trans. If you're in, if you're pagan, if you're into magic or maybe you're not, but you're into Santeria or Satanism or Luciferianism. If you're uh, even dysnomianism, because I'm also a dysnomian. If you're in, if you're tired of basically Wicca dominating paganism and want to kick out this fucking neo Nazi out of Reconstructionist paganism, if you, uh, you know, etc. etc. I am also I'm I'm basically I. I'm not interested in joining a Wiccan coven. I'm more interested in joining the fairy tradition with the Andersons, which the Andersons kind of brought into the popular consciousness, which was American tradition. And I'm going to make a video about the fairy tradition and this no manism. But basically, if you're queer, if you're feminist, this is for feminists, queers, femmes, butches, fucking anarchists, leftists, feminists, Environmentalist, the God, if you think the world is sacred, if you believe in a divine feminine figure or a universal mother, or you believe nature's everywhere and nature's is sacred, any of those, subscribe to this channel and blessed be. This is the Bread Pilled Witch, May Dysnomia. Curse and hex all those who oppress us. May dysnomia liberate us and we dysnomia us liberate us ourselves and may we forever live freely and if not be if not we'd rather be dead. Praise dysnomia! Namaste! Peace! Peace.